Have you tried to talk to a narcissist about being a narcissist? Have you tried to discuss it with them? Have you shown them videos? Have you shown them articles, books? Have you had therapists talk to them? Have you tried to expose the narcissist to themselves so that perhaps, just maybe, they can see what they're doing and see how they're hurting people and start to change? Have you done this? Let me know if this is something that you have experienced in your life in the comments below. My name is Lise Colucci and I am here to help you understand and transform your life after the effects of narcissism and toxic relationships. The most common thing to happen if you have told a narcissist that they're a narcissist, if you have shown them videos especially, or if you have shown them articles or books that describe them, is to go into a state of denial, to say that sounds like pop psychology, that sounds like a buzzword. All women think men are narcissists. And all men think that women are narcissists when they don't get their way. You know what I mean? Like they will find a way to make excuses and go straight into denial of anything that they do. I would say the number one trait of narcissism and the number one behavior that you can spot is lack of accountability. I mean, lack of empathy is probably number one, right? But from that comes a lack of accountability. It is a trait that happens from narcissism and it is a trait that happens with narcissistic people pretty much across the board. So in that denial of being a narcissistic person, in the denial of the narcissism or in even saying that narcissism isn't a real thing, they are escaping all accountability. They are pushing away all the things that they do and they are denying the manipulation and pain that they cause other people in their life. And then sometimes they will throw at you a little vulnerability plea, a little, a little bit of playing to your empathy. Like if you really think that about me, if you really think I'm that bad, I must need to, or I should just be alone, or I, you know, whatever it is to basically further escape accountability. Because no, if you, if I really, if you really think that narcissist is that way, that narcissist should be able to see it and change, right? But here's the thing, they can't. We think that if we can tell people and get them to see what they're doing and how they're doing it, that that will create some sort of self-awareness that allows for change. Narcissists are not self-aware in that way. They may be fully aware that they are narcissistic, but they do not have the empathy that it takes. They do not have the drive or the desire to change any of that. It is very hard to change your core personality. It is very difficult and takes a lot of work for people who are not narcissistic to make massive changes in their life, make changes in their behavioral style, make changes in their ability to communicate under stress and conflict, make changes in their not taking things personally, make changes in your pretty much everything in the way that you operate when it comes to relationship. Imagine how difficult that is when you want it, when you want it so bad that you're spending all this time watching these videos and all this time going to therapy, going to coaching, taking care of yourself, spending money, spending time, doing the exercises. And still the change is what? It is incremental. It is not a massive change all at once, right? Now imagine if a person doesn't have empathy and they're trying that, why are they trying? The only reason I can see that a narcissist would wanna change is to create a world that serves themselves better. Does that make sense? If that is making sense, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. So you have tried to tell the narcissist what they are and you have tried to show them the proof and show them the information and, and get them to really see what they are. Ask yourself, why? What is my purpose in this? What is my need in this? How am I helping the situation for myself by continually trying to get the narcissist to see what they are and who they are and how they are? Is this going to change anything? The thing is, you guys, at a certain point, once we have the awareness and we have the understanding, we have to be able to take the accountability for self 
to decide for yourself if this is a situation you want in your life. You know what I'm saying here? It is a really, really hard thing to do. But when a person cannot even see that narcissism exists or cannot see where they are having toxic traits and refuses to do anything to change it and, re and or says they'll change it and says they'll try, but then does absolutely nothing. You know what I mean? When they are unable to, to make changes and, un and unwilling to do the really hard work of creating a healthy relationship from something that is already toxic, what are you supposed to do? At that point, it is up to us to take care of ourselves and decide if this is what we want for life. And I know that it isn't always easy and I know that it takes a lot to make these decisions for yourself. This is why there is support. So make sure you check out the information in the main description of every video. There's information there on coaching individually, on group coaching, which is fantastic and ongoing, and on peer support for our Facebook group that is peer support for you to have a community of people who are going through something similar. So yeah, narcissists are not going to say, oh, thank you for telling me I'm a narcissist. I will go get the help that's needed for me to not be a narcissist because I care so much about how you feel. Not gonna happen, you guys. They're out for themselves. They are out for themselves. They only pay attention to their own point of view and they don't take accountability.